Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you are all okay and that you had a really happy New Year's evening, whatever you did. Uh, in England, we just stayed at home. We watched the fireworks that weren't fireworks. It was like a laser display. It was kind of monumental uh, for going into 2021, but England is on complete lockdown again. Um, so I hope wherever you are in the world, you are all continuing to stay safe. We are, we're, we're staying at home we can't do anything um so if you want to book a reading now is a good time to book because the turnaround time is down because all i'm doing is working so if you need me give me a shout so what we're going to be doing today is do they miss you going into this kind of new year energy for those of you guys that are in limited contact lack of contact exes um anything along those lines or not in contact at all we're going into the energy of does your person miss you so as always we've got two decks to work with and it will work with the strongest mutual energy between you all deck number one and deck number two so i need you to think about you and think about your person and as you're thinking about your person um, i want you to really feel those emotions them so feel it in your heart centered energy and once you've got those emotions feel that energy being pushed into the deck you are most drawn to working with energy pushing that energy in okay and what we will do is go into everyone's energy pick out the strongest energy that lies between you all so number one and number two okay ready let's go deck number one so yeah i hope it was all a very different kind of new year but everyone was glad to see the back of 2020 um and let's hope that this year is going to get better for everyone all over the world uh, it's been a very difficult time you know very difficult time for everyone okay think about your person for me to get into their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes deck number one. Now, the first thing that's coming through my right ear, normally with my right ear, it is higher dimensional beings. Um, and my left ear, it's the closer guys. In my right ear, you have um, a song, and it's Show Me the Meaning of Being Lonely by the Backstreet Boys, if anyone remembers that one. So your person is feeling very lonely at this moment in time, uh, which straight off the bat indicates that there is this missing energy going on. So does their person miss them? Does their person miss them? Yeah, there is a very strong heart-centered feelings here going on. Um, they are a bit confused. They're not really sure what they're doing. Oh my goodness, let's see. You've just got three queens, so that's interesting. There's your person, miss you. Four, five, six. A lot of courts, seven. Let's get one, no, that's eight. Let's get one more for the top. Do they miss you? No, okay. So your person has kind of floated away from this situation at this moment in time, okay? They've, they've kind of trying to distance themselves from it, have a bit of a break from communicating, having a bit of a break from the situation. Now, it's really interesting. We've got a lot of court cards in these nine cards that have come up. We've got Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, right off the bat. We also have a uh, Page of Pentacles and we have the High Priestess lingering in these cards as well. So there is a big influence of other people in this connection, okay? So it could be third parties, could be uh, families interfering, could be friends, a lot of influence of other people kind of coming up in these cards. Also children being brought into this, your energy over here with the high priestess, this is you, um, and there is this influence of other people going on in your person's life. So what they're doing at the moment in this missing you is they are trying to distract themselves from the reality of the situation at the moment. And um, they are, thinking about you they are missing you they are feeling very lonely and this is why these kind of other people are coming up to influence the situation so your person is being easily um I don't want to say manipulated but easily guided you know people are saying things to them they're listening to their people's judgments people's opinions people's uh standpoints on what they are doing with their life and it is really really impacting them so your person has decided that they're just going to float away from the situation with you uh try not to overly think about it um and just focus on themselves for a little while but with this influence of all these other people coming forward um it means that they are getting easily you know 
not again not manipulated but easily uh, averted with the situation so they're having a bit of a breather from it they're having a bit of a break from it um you guys are feeling quite fed up with the situation you're not really sure what your person is doing what's actually going on uh, feeling like you kind of tumbled off your horse i just had a clairvoyant image of um Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. You guys are feeling like everything has kind of gone to, to shit at the moment and you're not really sure what should be happening and what is going on. So your person is having a breather from the situation and other people are influencing it. The other side of things coming up here with these three queens, the spirit is saying that they see you in the multifaceted energy. So they see you in this powerful energy. They see you in this stable energy and they see you in this sexual energy. Now, it's really interesting. The queen that we have missing is the queen of cups. So again, this is highlighting that your person is really trying to avoid their emotions for you at the moment. Now, don't take that the wrong way. Don't be offended. Don't be upset. But your person buries these emotions really down deep within them. Um, and to be fair, the, the queen of cups, spirit is saying, is the one that they are actually clinging on to so they are still clinging on to their love for you even though she's missing out of your cards the reason why she's missing is because they are still clinging on to that love situation seeing you in a different vibration seeing you in different areas of their life and um, also feel that when they are getting a lot of signs and symbols from the universe seeing like your name flying up for a lot of you or numerology and even if they don't know what's going on they're still thinking well that's a little bit suspicious they are hopeful that this situation can come back round, but at the moment they are avoiding it for sanity spirit zone they're trying to keep their own sanity over it they're trying not to get too deeply bogged down with the emotional side of things and again this is why your queen of cups is missing your person does have real feelings for you they do deeply deeply care for you um but they are hiding away from it they're putting it on a breather having a bit of a breather floating away from it okay uh so they do miss you but at the moment, they are really kind of trying to avoid overly thinking about the situation. Now, as we all know, avoidance never really works and it always comes back and it bites you in the ass anyway. So even if your person is avoiding you and not com communicating with you, you don't need to overly fret because they will still kind of come back round towards you. It's only avoidance can lead us so far, but then it will, the situations always tend to reoccur. You know, like people say ignorance is bliss, but that ignorance also brings curiosity and curiosity is what killed the cat. So your person, even if they're floating away from their issues at the moment and trying not to think about it, you are still in their energy. You are still in their heart space. Okay, they're just having a bit of a breather from it. That being said, we have the star, we have the world over here, Major and High Priestess, Major Arcana is kind of coming forward. So very strong situation. Like I said, you haven't escaped their energy. They can think that you've escaped their thought process or the all that they want not true it's really not true they still have a bit of hope that you guys are going to find a way around this that you'll find a way to make it work again they felt quite emotionally overwhelmed with the situation um some of them are suffering from headaches as well i'm feeling and some of you guys too i just got a really pounding headache being put on me and spirit can take that off um feeling very stressed from the situation um feeling quite hurt you know, and even though you guys will be like, well, actually, you know what, they were the ones that hurt me. Your person is also hurting from the situation. So you have this energy of mirroring going on between you guys as well. In fact, if any of you have had a headache, I bet your bottom dollar that your person has got a headache as well. Very strong mirroring energy happening between you both. So cycles kind of going on here. It's a bit of a cycle possible that you guys, if you are not in contact, that you've been going around the same beaten track for a while. No contact, contact, no contact, contact. Um, and the same cycle has been repeating. And again, it kind of comes down to your person's emotions and their behavior. They get to this point that they, um, they avoid, 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 avoid. And then it's bam, like a hole in the head. They really miss you. They really want to speak to you. And then the same cycle keeps repeating. So your person does miss you. They're just an avoidance of the situation at the moment. Try not to think on it. your person is also very good at detaching spirit is saying so they, they're good at trying not to think about things but as we said avoidance always brings these thought processes to the front of your mind um, and you can only avoid things for so long and with that being said the page of pentacles over here popping in this is messages coming forward for you and they are messages that are going to be seeming a lot more stable than what they have done before so you have got this communication reappearing uh, I am going to do your line on that. Let's use this. I made this box years ago. How cute is that? Um, 
Don't do your Lenoma. Lenoma, can you tell me what is going to happen with deck number one and the person? Let's just look at the outcome. Outcome for deck number one and their person. Two. Three. Oosh. Okay, four. So what we got over here, um, at the moment, like we said, they're kind of cutting off their feelings for you, cutting off the happiness that comes with the situation. This is exactly what the tarot said. OK, so avoiding the situation, trying to not think about it, trying to cut it off um, with Scythe and Snake going on over here. This is talking about them cutting off their snaky behaviour. So it's this kind of loop going on. We're cutting off at the moment. We're cutting off emotions and being a bit of a snake, being a bit snaky, not giving you what you want. Taking this one out, the Scythe moves to Snake, which means they're cutting out their snaky behaviour. Your person, um, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on here, but in Lenormand Tarot, there's always males and females. Um, so your snaky man, this person's behaviour has been a little bit underhanded. You aren't really sure what they're doing. Um, but once this shifts and this moves and this longing and this yearning kicks in, you have this transformation between you and your person. And that transformation leads back to the start, which is emotions, okay, this successful time. So exactly what the Tarot said, Lenormand is saying exactly the same. Um, that at the moment they are in avoidance, but as time progresses, that avoidance is going to lead to uh, curiosity and that curiosity is going to lead to the cycle coming back around. Um, not easy, not easy situation. They do miss you, but they are avoiding it. Um, but as we keep on saying, avoidance won't take you so far and the cycle will come back around. Um, keep progressing yourself forward keep moving yourself forward your person has got this energy they have got these emotions towards you they have they just like to bury them because when they are right at the surface your person can feel very very vulnerable and they don't like that vulnerability they don't like to feel vulnerable around you because it makes them feel weak um you know a lot of us would say well embrace your vulnerability uh, but your person they've had to be strong a lot of their lives you know so when it comes to being vulnerable it's just not something that they can accept within themselves at this moment in time let me reiterate that at this moment they can't accept that vulnerability but they have you do make them feel vulnerable because they have got these emotions for you um and that scares the living shit out of them scares the shit out of them so their easiest way to deal with things like that is to just avoid them but it will come back round they'll come back round to you they do miss you they do care for you um you know with the star over here and the page of pentacles this is this communication stepping forward this is the things moving further in the direction that you want them to and uh, messages coming forward so it's all there for you it's just kind of a bit of a not yet not yet but they do miss you just hiding it very very well Okay, guys, that is deck number one. If you need me, uh, just drop me a message. As I said at the start, uh, turnaround time is down because England is on lockdown. So I am just here all the time, just reading all the time. So just drop me a message if you need me. Okay, guys, lots of love. Take care. Bye. Okay, guys, deck number two. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thought, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And, oh, let's have that one. Or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number two as well. Okay. So let's find out if your person is missing you. Now, I've got a song as well for deck number one had one as well i've got a song for you guys i don't know how many of you will remember this this is going back to the emo days i think i was like 21 22 uh finch uh letters to you letters to you okay let's move them does that person is that person missing them for deck number two i haven't heard that song for years it says, do you know that I'm gone? Uh, where do you run to so far away? I want you to know that I miss you. I miss you so. Where's the person? Did I miss them? Four. Does that person miss them? Five. Six. Aww. Seven. Eight. 
mine. Okay, what we have over here, does your person miss you? Um, straight away, you have a yes. Your person is feeling very low at the moment, very sad at the moment and perhaps being a little bit icy towards you, uh, that ice is about to melt between you guys. We have two fives, only two fives. Fives in tarot are never particularly good, so your person's emotions are feeling very, very low at the moment. They're not realising that they are the ones that are holding the key to this working out. Um, they're just sitting there feeling a little bit sorry for themselves, feeling a little bit wounded. Hearing, I'm hearing the words wounded soldier, feeling like they've been fighting and fighting and fighting either with you or with the connection or with themselves and at the moment they're just feeling that very low frequency very low vibration you guys are feeling that they've let you down they've hurt you you're sad and your person is feeling that they have let you down they've hurt you and that they are sad yet that you are sad so you have this energy kind of coming forward that your person is really thinking about you a lot you are massively massively in their thoughts and it's not something that they can escape from it's like whatever they are trying to do in their life it's this constant thought process towards you constantly thinking about you unable to break away from the negativity and the chain that they have got themselves in trying to keep their guard up they've tried so hard to um be this strong independent kind of emperor energy over here but at the same time they are feeling very low and they are really missing you feeling very lonely feeling this kind of issues of abandonment, issues of loss. Um, some of this will stem back to childhood and it's kind of reiterating, coming forward again. They are, at the moment, you might feel that they have won the game, but, well, we're calling it a game, the game of love. <laughs> you might feel that they have won it. It's not true. They are waiting for you and them to start making their moves towards one another, okay? Um, feeling like this kind of death and rebirth energy going on here as well that things have had to come to a bit of a close between you guys because the way it was it was very difficult it was very hard um but through those hard times it's definitely this energy of rebirth coming back around between you guys so there's been a choice made on this situation and now that this choice has been made um and it's kind of been surrendered to the universe whatever choice was made in your relationship um this is kind of the after effect of it this is this longing this sadness this heavy energy and your person is really really feeling that so there is a very strong i miss you i love you i'm longing for you i'm yearning for you Spirit are talking here about telepathy happening with you guys as well. Um, you energetically communicate with one another. Um, so if you guys are suddenly hit with these wild tons of emotions and it's come out of nowhere, it's because you are picking up on your person, my little mystic tribe, or your psychic energies coming on here. So really feeling that empathic nature happening with you, picking up on your person. They are very low, they are very sad, and they are very strongly missing you. Um, as we said, they kind of made this choice, or you guys have made this choice, you were feeling a little bit stuck. Everything was quite stranded and difficult and hard. So you just thought, you know what? I'm just going to take a breather, take a break from it all. And it is left this very, very heavy scars, scars coming forward here. Um, your person has got these really strong emotions towards you with the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. Uh, we also have the symbol of Diana on this lady's arm on the Lovers card. So uh, Diana was the goddess of the hunt. I don't know how much you guys know about Roman mythology. Um, she was the goddess of the hunt. And she, when it's coming up in your cards over the lovers, this is saying that this is a love that has had to be fought for, uh, really strongly fought for. And we have the three spirals over here again, indicating this kind of goddess energy around you and your person. If you are struggling with this situation, it might be worth calling on Diana, goddess of the hunt, if you feel the pull towards her. Um, your person, knight of cups over here, very strong love between you guys. Very strong feelings, very strong emotions and feeling very sad over it all. Um, your person does want to communicate with you. And again, that letters to you, song coming through my right ear. Um, they don't really know how to do it. They're feeling like the past has got to be rewritten. And this is what we're saying about the uh, endings and rebirth. Um, your person does feel the need for this chapter to start again. And they want to come towards you with some kind of offer of love really feeling your emotions, feeling your energy and wanting to connect with you. Uh, sexual energy coming up here as well. Um, very passionate, passionate feelings going on between you guys. This is an otherworldly relationship spirit. I say this is something that has gone through times, lifetimes, lifetimes, lifetimes. And if you need a past life reading, give me a shout. But lifetimes of love between you guys has led to where you are now. And this is probably why it can be a bit 
difficult between you guys the karmic energy even if you're in like a twin flame relationship you still have karma with your person so the karmic energy from the past lives you've lived before can make the situation more difficult and this is what's been happening things have been re reappearing from stuff that has happened not just in this lifetime but in previous lifetimes as well your person's emotions for you are very overwhelming to them They've never felt this way about anyone. They will never feel this way about anyone ever again. Even if they want to pretend that they will, they can't. They can't feel these feelings. They can't feel the chemistry. They can't feel the connection. Um, your person has some choices and decisions that they need to make in their life as well so we have the three of pentacles we have justice and we have the two of swords kind of coming up over here there's this very strong need to balance okay your person has been feeling out of whack feeling out of kilt and again this kind of karmic energy coming over here you have the karmic energy mirroring between you both one side you one side them the scales everything is a little bit unbalanced between you guys at the moment so when it does come back around with the three of pentacles over here when it does come back around you guys are going to have to be working through this open communication is going to be key to it your person is still feeling a little bit blinded by the situation they're not sure how to move it forward all they really know is that they miss you and they love you they don't know how to progress the situation um, and that is what kind of wounds their heart and wounds your heart as well. There is this kind of, um, we have your root chakra, your sacral chakra and your heart chakra really being lit up over here. So stability, um, security, sexual energy and emotions really navigating this, this energy between you guys. You're feeling, both of you are feeling the intensity of this connection. And again, it's definitely otherworldly or past life really really strong energy going on between you both both of you are feeling like you've got these thoughts constantly niggling at your head um, and unsure how to progress and what to do about it um, and this is where this karmic energy kind of coming forward for you guys um I just noticed my card has got i don't think you can see it on here it's kind of got a lump it's got a lump coming down into this person's head and you can't see it probably on the camera. There's a bit of a, a raise in the car coming down into this person's head. Divinely guided is what Spirit is saying with that. This relationship is divinely guided between you guys. You have the lighter side of things, you have the shadow side of things and you two try and walk the line in between the both. You know, it's like walking the line of both worlds like a psychic. We have to walk between earthly and spiritual. And you and your person do the same with your relationship. You walk between the two lines. You walk between the shadow side and the light side. And it's about keeping that balance between you guys and um, shifting things. Your person does love you. Their emotions for you are extremely strong. Um, and they will fight for you. You know, with Diana's energy coming forward, they will fight for you. They're going to put up a very strong fight. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys kind of got letters, written letters of communication or emails or texting, something where it is written, okay, rather than face-to-face -face communication. And again, with that letters to you song coming forward at the start, if you haven't listened to it, please do listen to it. It is beautiful and I haven't heard it for years. Your person does love you, really, really strongly loves you, missing you like crazy, just trying to be a little bit stubborn. They're just being stubborn over it at the moment. I'm just going to do your Lenoma to see where things are going with you guys. Can you tell me what's going to happen next with deck number two and their person? What will happen with deck number two and their person? Yes, there's definitely some endings and transformations happening between you guys. So at the moment, we have this sadness, this confusion um, and this feeling of loss. That ending will come to a close. So clouds and coffin coming up first and foremost, two kind of less positive cards. But there is this confusion, this uncertainty, which is going to be coming to a close. And this is where the situation has been, like I said, endings and new beginnings. Through the ending, you start to have this more emotional side of things coming forward. So you're going to be feeling that where things were before is going to be transforming now into these new beginnings and um new potential between you both so the endings of the emotions where things have been difficult and darker in the past is going to be leading to um this emotional stability security and this this relationship kind of being 
rewritten in a more positive light, a more pure essence, really focusing on the essence of love coming forward. And once you get to that point, you've got your success coming forward. I do see with this key a few house moves going on with you guys as well, thinking about moving house. Um, any kind of where there's been falsities and there's been dishonesty, it's going to be fading away with your success over here. So exactly as the tarot said, endings, new beginnings, difficult times right now, harder times, heavy times, but it is shifting. Please do remember that your person does love you, that their feelings for you are very real and they are very, very strong um, and that love is pure. You know, it is a pure love. It is a divine love. So when your head is niggling at you, do focus on the unconditional love that you two share. Um, and know that your person does love you, regardless of how they've acted or regardless of where your situation has been. They will come back to you. Remember that the universe has got your back, okay? Um, and with the love being so strong for you, there is nowhere that they can hide from this, that that love will keep drawing them back. Even if it's been years, even if it's been years or months, um, when love is real, it, it won't fade. It won't go anywhere. It's still there. OK, so do know that your person loves you. Do know that they are really struggling with the situation and that they desperately miss you um, and you will hear from them in the not too distant future. So if you want to look at it individually and have a look at timings, etc. for your personal situa situations, just give me an email, uh, drop me a shout. As I said, uh, we're on complete lockdown at the moment in England again. So now is a really good time to book if you need me because I'm just going to sit here um, and do readings, readings, readings. So turnaround time is lower. Okay, guys, I'm sending tons of love to you all. Uh, hope you've had a really good first few days of the new year in 2021. Let's hope for some magical miracles this year as the whole energy changes around the planet. I'm sending tons of love to you all. Stay safe in these difficult times. Look after yourself and your families and your loved ones. Lots of love, guys. Ciao.